You know what the real problem is? We don't think big anymore. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Uh, what's up everybody? This is Titan Titans of CNC. Oh man, I was just thinking. I was just thinking, getting a little bit frustrated and uh it's all garbage. You know, it's all garbage, right? And what I'm talking about is just everybody wants to talk about something, but very few want to come with action and a solution, right? You know, I made a I made a plan and I and I talked to everybody and I've been screaming from the rooftops about how we can actually solve our problems in our inner cities, right? You guys already know, like I'm a huge advocate for manufacturing, worldwide manufacturing, American manufacturing, having the ability to actually make products, make something from nothing and trade it for money. It just makes sense to me, right? Not everybody's built to be a banker, doctor and lawyer. Some of us are built to make things with our hands, right? And the opportunity to do so is everything, right? I always say like, what are we doing for our veterans who are fighting for us, right? Are we, are we fighting for their jobs, jobs that can actually take care of their families, right? You have a million autistic kids coming into the workforce that do great in CNC machining. We'd rather put huge money into babysitting programs instead of actually training them in a viable way where they can actually take care of themselves for the long term. I go into prisons and people are like, oh, how come you're not helping? I'm like, I'm helping our kids. But at the same time, these guys are getting out and committing more crimes. So don't we want to like show them something? Don't we want to teach them something so they can actually make a living? I'm a huge advocate for manufacturing but you know let me let me just say like this is what I'm talking about right because I, because I see these things about Chicago people keep talking about Chicago and and everybody's dying on the weekends and everybody's this and sometimes it's news sometimes it's not but families are being destroyed and kids are growing up in a place that is just gang infested drug infested and when you grow up in something you become that environment and you guys know I, I understand that environment a little bit like I've been incarcerated. I come from nothing where I didn't even understand that manufacturing was even an option. I came up hard and made many mistakes. But at the same time, I was smart enough that when I did walk through a manufacturing door, I realized, wait, this is a trade that can actually take care of my family. I'm going to leave all that stuff behind me. I'm going to dedicate myself. And I ended up changing my lives. And I changed the course of my children's lives in doing so. Right? So that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it worked right in the same way we went into San Quentin prison and built a school and changed rehabilitation and gave the inmates a vision and sold them on something that was different, that was viable, that was real. And that was going to enable them to actually take care of their wives and their families when they got out, which curves the statistics, right? And why am I getting all on this? Because I look at the media and I look at TV and people keep talking billions and billions and billions. But when I bring a viable plan to the table to go in and speak to the mothers and the families of the children that are growing up on those streets to inspire them, to give them a vision. You know, when I, when I talk about it, people don't understand. I'm not just saying I want to go and talk to everybody and inspire them with empty words. I'm saying I want to bring something to the table that'll actually work. And instead of being billions, we're talking 20 million in machine tools, another 40 million in building and property and longevity, $60 million on the table to actually solve a massive problem right? Chicago wants to bring in big business. They want to attract all these. Who wants to go into devastation for the sake of being around devastation, right? The plan that I put forth and that I'm screaming from the rooftops is a plan that actually creates a much needed workforce, a workforce that can actually be trained up quickly, right? People say like, oh, well, like that would take all these years. No, we've already proven it by going into the prison system that we can actually train people up in months, not years, right? And when you're in manufacturing, it doesn't matter that you used to be in a gang or you come from a bad place or you have a tattoo on your neck. 
It doesn't matter. What matters is your ability to actually solve problems and operate at a machine in a way that will allow a company to ship parts on time and make money, therefore giving that employee money. That's what matters. And if you give these guys hope and you give them opportunity, big things can happen. You know, recently I was at the DMC, the National Defense Conference. I want to show you guys a clip that somewhat explains my vision. People talk about Chicago, and, and I came up, I had these politicians contact me, and they're like, boom, 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 and this and this, and we want to like, we heard that this, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like in a couple days, me and my team drew up plans, and I'm just like, you know, $60 million, $20 million in this, and this and this, and basically you can have like, 3,000 students actually coming in, boom, boom, this is how the whole system works. And you're trying to get people to come into your city, but there's destruction in your city and nobody wants to come. These big companies don't want to come. But what you need to do is you need to build a workforce and then you need to market that workforce and our training can actually build all this within a year instead of like 10 years. And then you show these massive companies like Nike and different places, hey, you come over here, you're helping save lives in Chicago. And they're so excited. And people look at me and they'll be like, wait, 200 CNC machines for you? I'm like, they're killing people. Apple spent just on one item, 10, they, they bought 10,000 machines. And they're killing people in our cities. Like you have to do something big at scale to, to inspire these people. They're like, oh, horizontal, like railroad? Yes, because that's what we're using to compete. That's how we're using automation. That's what's selling. So on the, you gotta have like this to this to this to this, and you need to have pinnacle things to teach. This is education. We're the greatest country in the world. Why is this abnormal? Why do we not? take care of our kids and take care of our teachers. As a nation, we need to have a real talk. We need to stop competing against each other. We need to show our kids what, how awesome this trade is. And we need to start putting the money in to actually build up our communities. And we need to teach those that are in power who, who are trying to do good, but they just don't know where to put the money. We need to hold them accountable and teach them that this is good and this is bad. We need to look at Democrats, we need to look at Republicans, we need to look at independents, we need to look at kids and young, and we need to let everybody know that manufacturing is something that we all have to fight for. All right, so that's just a small clip, but you can see we have a plan in place, and this is a viable solution. And truly, I've been able to show you, like if I can go into the prison system and inspire men in darkness, then you know that I'm capable of inspiring and speaking into the people living in Chicago right you give them a vision and they will walk those streets they will pray for those streets whatever land that you pick out to actually build this school you will have mothers locking arms across that land because they are willing to fight for their kids fight for their kids futures fight for their grandbabies this is life and death people are talking about billions of dollars this is 60 million dollars and you can save that city and all of a sudden you can inspire people in Baltimore, in Oakland, in Houston, all of a sudden you'll have cities rising up because we made the right plans. We got serious about manufacturing and we got serious about bringing opportunity to those that don't have opportunity, right? Everybody wants to talk about manufacturing and everybody wants to talk about bringing jobs back and big companies like who's going to do the work? Bring them into Chicago, bring that work back. Like, let's make it happen. I've had huge companies come to me and say, Titan, we have so much work. Like, there's nobody that can handle that work over here. And I'm like, and I think about it, I'm like, I honestly don't know anybody either, right? Because we've been divided for so long and now everybody's busy. But I guarantee you, if you build these schools, if you train up a workforce, these companies will bring that work back and actually take advantage of it.
right? And not only that, but think about it. It's a marketing genius because the big companies, as they bring their work back and they start making it in Chicago, they can honestly say, we're making our products right here in the great United States of America and we're saving lives at the same time. All right, my rant is over. I'll see you on the next vlog. Boom.